Yo, what's up guys? Three month update. Been living in TJ for three months. It's been two months since my last update. Finally in a rhythm. Gonna update you guys on some of uh, what I've been doing. Life update, job update, different activities and hobbies I've been doing. Uh, major differences and similarities I've noticed. And uh, all right, this is the three month update. I'll probably drop another one in six months, but uh, everything's going well. I, I have my calendar almost fully filled out and I have a little bit more room for activity, so excited to see what I fill it with. I'm a, I'm a time block your calendar kind of guy, productivity kind of guy, so uh, I really like to get uh, my weekly activities dialed in, but let's jump into what I've been doing. Okay, I'm walking to work right now, so drawing a little bit of attention with this gimbal. I learned that Tijuana is not necessarily a city that you need to speak Spanish to live in and to get by in. Enough people speak English here to where you can get by. Um, I, I tried my hardest to speak Spanish with everybody until the point of failure. Sometimes people are like, oh, I speak English. I'm like, well, hey, necesito aprender español. I need to learn Spanish. You know, it's, uh, there's no point in me being here without doing full immersion. So um, people are pretty patient with you, especially if you're um, being serious about trying. I'm no longer in school or taking any classes or uh, studying, really. So I need to get more disciplined on that. I need to implement something into my time block, into my calendar. Uh, I found someone who will, I was referred to somebody who will do teach classes for uh, 100 pesos an hour, which is like five, six dollars, which is crazy because I was paying $40 an hour in the US, which is wild. It wasn't even in person too, it was over Zoom. So moving on, so work update. I'm now working freelance for two different companies. I'm doing social media uh, management for them. I'm creating content, posting it on their TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube all short form content, all vertical, less than one minute content. Um, working for a jewelry company in Chula Vista and uh, a call answering service based out of Tijuana, but all the clientele for both companies are in the US, so I'm making a fair US wage um, for what I feel I'm doing. And I'm a lot different than your other types of content creators because I'm not afraid to be on camera. I enjoy being on camera. I enjoy interacting with whoever's on camera. I enjoy getting creative. Sorry, excuse my language, but Fucking Harleys, bro, like, there's no point. Everyone's looking at me, it's so cool. Okay, so I interact with, uh, better, I'm more creative. I think of better ideas. You know what, people pay social media managers just to create infographics with pictures with words on it with maybe some music. That's not creative at all, it gets zero engagement. So that's not what I do. I specialize in creating short form content that where I'm actually being conversational with the viewer, asking them to engage, you know, having a call to action, and then also, in addition to that, analyzing the trends, analyzing the insights so we can learn what's working and more importantly, what's not working. And we can, uh, I guess, exploit the things that are working. So like I said, working for two different companies, plus my personal social media, what you're watching right now. I mean, YouTube is my number one priority. Uh, my goal is to uh, get the subscribers up, get the hours up, and then monetize this thing. And then I can be your travel vlog, Asiatico gringo in Mexico, showing you guys all the things and hopefully get partnership deals and whatnot, but for now I gotta pay the bills. So, like I said, I have two. I'm, I had the capacity for one more client, um, and then I think my schedule will be pretty full. For, I mean, as full as I would like to have it for my, for my lifestyle activities. So, two clients right now that's paying the bills and uh, potentially one more. I think I'm gonna try and apply for the position to work for my friend's uh, gym as soon as it opens. Baja Fit, baby. Revolucion. All right, guys, sorry about that. I walked into the line, then I had to go to work. We are back home right now. Not that you would know, but change of scenery. So let's talk about activities that I've been doing, um, physical activities that I've been doing, stuff that's good for the health. You know, apart from my diet, which has been super on point, I've been playing, a, I've been doing three physical activities on a weekly or daily basis. Um, daily, almost daily, five times a week, I'm going to the gym. Like I mentioned, they're bodybuilding gyms here. Uh, working out with the, in Mexico, I don't know why I'm experiencing this much, these much gains. Uh, when I was working out in the U.S., I guess I wasn't working out, uh, you know, at a, at a higher level. Because also the gyms in the U.S. are more like commercialized gyms. Here in Mexico, they're like bodybuilding gyms, or at least the ones I've been introduced to. Other two activities, uh, number one is paddle. I've been playing a lot of paddle um, once, at least once per week for a couple hours. And paddle is like a combination of Pickleball, squash, racquetball, and tennis. Uh, it's played in a small court with a glass enclosure, and uh, it's highly competitive, very fast paced, and my heart rate stays around 140 BPMs when playing. So highly recommend paddle. It's a very popular sport in uh, Mexico, Argentina, Spain, 
and um, it's good. It's a great place to meet some people too. Um, we usually play that uh, a few times a week. So the last thing I've been picking back up is golf. My arch nemesis, golf is great. There's one golf course in Tijuana um, and there's a few others along the coastline that I still haven't been to yet, but uh, golf is fun. And I still haven't broke 100. Um, I'm not doing anything outside of playing. I hit the driving range a little bit at times, but um, there's a great, great private course here that uh, I want to be a member of. But it's fun. So next time I'm out on the course, which is tomorrow, I'm going to actually do some research to see if I can get a, um, a coach. I was going to have my caddy coach me, but I guess it's against the rules because there are golf pros. All right, so since living in TJ, I've actually traveled to two different other cities in Mexico. We went to Guadalajara and Mexico City. And now what I love about Mexico to Mexico flights is that it's not international, it's domestic because you're not crossing any borders. Uh, so it's really easy, really simple. It's a little more affordable, I would say. So when I was living in San Diego, crossing the border to fly out of Tijuana to another Mexico City, it was actually more expensive because you had to pay some cross-border express, which is like 60 bucks each way or 30 bucks each way. Then you had to pay, uh, I, I, there was just, it was just, just easier and faster and more uh, efficient when you just fly straight from Mexico to Mexico. So I did some vlogs on each of those. So I'm not going to get too deep into that. My goal is to take one trip per month, whether it be three to five days or a week. But, uh, you know, once I get some subscribers under my belt and monetize, maybe that can be my new thing. So I'm really blessed to have a great friend group here, or I was blessed to be introduced to like 10 guys that are all uh, entrepreneurs that love to have a good time um, from my friend in Julian in Vegas. So what I love about that is that I, th I think that if you're moving to TJ, it, it might be a little difficult to, to insert yourself into a friend group unless you have one of those activities like pickleball or golf that you can easily go out and meet people um, that are you know outside of the clubs. So uh, what I love about my group is that everyone has their own businesses or they're, they're entrepreneurs or, and so they have, you know, they have better schedules versus nine to five people and also they like to have a great time. So whatever activity I'm looking to do, whether it be something physical or if we like to go out and have a good time or play some poker, you know, there's always someone that's willing to, to join and participate. So unless you're speaking Spanish or have a solid friend group, I think it might be a little difficult to move as a non-Spanish speaker without friends to Tijuana. But that's just my opinion. I really took my Spanish studies seriously and I'm still learning every day. But I think that with those two things, me understanding a little bit of Spanish and having a good friend group foundation that has enabled the transition to be somewhat seamless. I, you know, I always have someone I can rely on or ask for help if I need it. But like I said, there are a lot of cool places that you can meet people outside of the club, cafes, paddle, you know, grocery stores, wherever. Um, so, People are very friendly here and um, they're very patient with you if you are learning Spanish as well. So do not be discouraged. So moving forward from month three in Tijuana to let's just say month six, I'll get you guys another update. My plan is to keep growing uh, my, my two clients. I maybe think I have actually, since I last talked to this morning, I actually might get introduced to somebody else that I might be able to help with some content. So maybe I'll have three to four clients within the next six months or three months. Um, plan is to keep my fitness journey improving in uh, the weight room, paddle, and golf. My goal is to break 100 by the next time I see you guys. And um, keep growing my YouTube. I'm making this video because uh, I was actually in the comments and I have another couple videos coming from requests from you guys. Like what's the process of getting an apartment in Tijuana as an American gringo. Uh, the growth has been crazy and I appreciate you guys so much. I, I took 100 so I took 25 days to get my first 100 subscribers, 24 days to get my second 100 subscribers, 17 days to get my 300 subscribers, and at the rate we're going, I anticipate we'll have um, the next 100 up to 400 subscribers within, I don't know, 10, 15 days. It looks like I'm getting you know 10 to 20 subscribers a day, which is amazing. It's crazy how YouTube is one of those platforms where it just snowballs and um, long form content like this is king. Um, I want to keep doing what you guys want to see. Uh, I'm just, I'm bringing, I'm getting really good at recording content. Uh, every time I go out, I want to bring some stuff out, make content on day trips, day trips to Rosarito, day trips to the beach, day trips to different markets and uh, share my experiences. Okay, guys. So that being said, leave your comments. Are you guys thinking about moving to TJ? Do you need any help with um, finding an apartment, different neighborhoods, <clears throat> working here, crossing? 
I make videos about all of it. Um, if you have places you want to see, I'm here. Leave a comment. All right, guys, I'll talk to you on a life update in six months. In three months for my six-month update. Bye.